Good morning, it's Christine from Periwinkle Planner Co. And today I have the February Daily Duo printable stickers to show you from our shop. So if we get into February, um, this planner, if you go back and watch a couple of my videos, is just my January planner. So February is not put together yet. So let's get this out of the way a minute. I put the month of February in there, but not the week yet. So I have that right here. So this I will be coiling onto this coil when January is done and adding my other, other parts and uh, making up the planner. So for this month of February, all I do on these, whoops, what it, it's an outdated, it's from 2022. So I have these little stickers I made and I have to put the dates on here, but now I see I'm, I'm out of these, so I'm gonna have to find some more of these. Hopefully I have more. <laughs> I'm just gonna put that aside to remind myself. So this, I, this calendar, which is for the Daily Duo, this month for the Daily Duo, I just use for content planning. So that's nothing that we need to set up today. And then here's my notes about my February stickers that I need to fix. <laughs> And then here is the first week. Now this, that's why I have this. There are a couple days in January at the end, because it ends on the 31st, but it starts on a Monday. So it has to go into March. So this is the kit, it's called Cozy Days. And it starts with Monday and Tuesday. And that's what Monday and Tuesday look like when I use the stickers and put them in here. This isn't with this. I'm gonna possibly start offering some printable words in the future. Um, so that's Monday and Tuesday. And then you've got Wednesday and Thursday, Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday. Now, if you notice, mine's a little different because I had to wipe this out or put a sticker over it because again, it's from 2022 and I'm just reusing my stash. I'm finding though that if I continue with the coil bound, I am going to run out almost at the end of March. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure in March if I'm going to still do coil bound. That'll be coming. That'll be another video. Anyway, so that's for March, the first week of March. Then you have your blank page. Now for me, I didn't have a blank page because this, like I said, is from 2022. So I just glued or stuck a page onto here so that I have my blank page. Then we go to the next week, the sixth, and here is that kit. Let's move this so it's not distracting. Here's for the next week, the sixth, and it has um, these really cute flowers. I really like this one. This one's called Valentine Red. So there's Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, and there are so many of these little itty bitty flowers that you can stick as many as you want, anywhere you want, all over the page if you want. So here's Friday and Saturday, cute little love birds. These boxes, like I said, just my favorite. And then Sunday. Now, for me again, I have this, I need to find a piece of scrap paper, <laughs> lined paper and glue that to this, but that's your Sunday. So now the next week is Valentine's week. And this is what I'm talking about by I'm using <laughs> leftovers that, that don't match. These are the wrong dates, but it is so easy just to cover them up. And here is the Valentine's week kit. This one I haven't stuck yet because I wanted to do that with you. This is the Monday through Sunday. And then here's the numbers. And then here's the bottom boxes. And these are really fun. They look like, I don't know if you can see them on there. They look like they have glittery confetti on them. I had real, a lot of fun making these. So let's date this with, it starts the 13th. So this is what you'll do. You'll print out your three sheets. And I even cut the little border off to make them look all professional. Because you know, the Cricut's gotta have that border to, to know where to cut. So then you're gonna put your dates on here and then we can start putting them on the page. Now, sometimes I like to go in some type of order. Sometimes I don't. I mean, like I can pick this page and stick all the bottom boxes on first. It depends on how much time you have. <laughs> you 
got lots of time, then do a page at a time. If you don't have lots of time, then kind of do an assembly line and do all the same things first. And then these boxes, I usually put my priorities for the day, um, but you could use them as a grocery shopping list, a to buy list, a gratitude list, a currently list, um, ideas list, upcoming list, anything you want. It's just a little way to fill that area and make it usable instead of it just being that blank square and not knowing what to do with it. You could just decorate that square, I guess, too, if you didn't want to put a box down there. So then here is this one, this last one, which the last box is on the number sheet because six only fit onto one page. Okay. And then again, this is going to be the day after Sunday, so I'm going to have to cover that one up again. I'll just kind of set this aside again. All right, now let's go backwards. Let's go back to Monday. Here's Mondays. And then we take the headers off of here. And I just usually use this line, center it right there, and then line these stickers up at the bottom of the, that line that's there at the top. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. All right, now I'm gonna do these day by day now. Now, because I have this issue, you can also do it if you have a calendar there, which I believe, right? The 2023 still have a calendar? I think so. I take these boxes. There's only three or five of those, but there are other red ones here if you'd rather use a red one, which I think I'm gonna use a red one this time because there's more of that white color here. And then I just cover that, it fits right on here. And I cover that right up. And then I take the to-do page, all these to-dos here, and I cover the to-do up. You can move it over, you can put it where you want, move it up, you can really position it however you like. And then for me, I use these other ones, I have the dinner ones, and everybody eats dinner, right? So you put this on whatever time you plan on eating dinner. For me, it's been five o'clock all my life when I was a kid and as an adult. At least I start making dinner at five. We don't always eat at five. And then I use these little ones. This is where I remember to take my vitamins in the morning at 8 a.m. So I just use that there. But, you know, it can be used for an event, uh, an appointment, anything. The small ones fit on a half hour. The double ones, which I see I got it crooked. Oh. The double ones fit on a full hour. And then there are some extra one bigger ones that fit. Let's see where do these fit. These would fit on two hours. Yep. So it all depends on your time span. Now I'm just going to leave this one and then we'll come back to the deco after this. So let's do Tuesday. And maybe I will just either speed this part up to music or I'll just kind of like snap my fingers or clap <laughs> still have a lot left but keep going keep oh look at emptied one sheet yay okay so then I don't think I can empty another sheet though there's too many stickers This one's right in the middle of the page. There we go. This one there. That looks cute like that, too. Yep. Um, there. Okay, I think that's good. Look at how much is still left. All those and all these. Insane. Insane. Okay. So let's put that one to the side. So that's that week. Then the next week... 19th. This is going to be a blank page. And then this is the next 20th for Monday. Okay, so let's start again. So the next, this is the third week in February. We got Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday and Thursday. This one's called Garden, by the way. Friday and Saturday. And now I have ran out of room. I don't have another day for Sunday. So what I wanted to do and see if it would work is if you could just take a regular lined sheet of paper. And I'm thinking, why not? So let's put this up at top for the header. Actually, it's probably too high, huh? Because it's going all the way to the top. Oops. Okay. Okay, we don't want to go all the way up. It looks like this line, if I look in the light, is actually down some. So let's go to this. Let's go in the middle of the first line there. That looks a little better. And are we straight? Pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to reference Friday since it's open here. So we can see how to make this on a plain sheet of paper. Now, I don't need the box here because there's nothing to cover up. So I'm not going to put that there. I am going to take my to-do, though. And I'm going to bring that down. Let's see how far. Maybe, well, here. We need how many lines? Let's, let's hold off on that to-do. And let's take the big box. And put that down in the corner, and then we can judge it off of that. So I'm going to put this down here. There we go. And then we have, let's see, I want to ink it up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 lines. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now these are a little bit wider spaced here than here, but that's okay. So we'll put the to-do there, and then I still have some room up here to put the weather, which is what I like to do. And then we probably aren't going to have enough lines for the time. Um, so I guess you could just write what times are important to you. Or, I mean, my day doesn't really go past five. So if I say this is, this is five, four, three, two, one. And eh, maybe I should just go to six. Let's go here. One, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight. Seven. So I can start my day at 7 a.m. And then do 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 p.m. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I'll do it like that. Okay. So then I can put my dinner at the five. Yeah, so these lines are a little bit wider, but still fits in there. And then put this at the 8 a.m. Okay. And then what else do we need to put on here? Just decor. And then this could just be if we take where are we here? Do I have my pouch in here? Oh, you know what? It's right in front of me. There we go. What kind of colors we got? Um, I'm just going to use this bright green color. Actually, I have pink. Let's use the pink. And then we can just put our, our dots down here. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. To do dots. A little crooked, but that's okay. <laughs> And then we can just put the decor that's left on here. So let's uh, let's just decorate this up. I think we, I like putting this down here, the beer stuff, so it's kind of out of the way. And then we have a little birdie going into that birdhouse. We'll just kind of put him up here. Actually, let's set him on there. Because like I said, I still want to have room for weather over there. Um, and then we could stick a flower next to the birdhouse, or we could stick a flower up here. Maybe we'll do that. We have lots of flowers left. It may take a spot in here for my one of my to do, two of my to dos, but I usually don't have 13 anyway. That's an awful lot of to dos for the day. Plus, there's all that time over here. So we could just stick some different size little flowers around here like this small one put it right there do I have a really tiny one I do put that next to the to 
do in here. Here, I think that looks really adorable. Maybe we can stick another one on the dinner day. Or right there, or right there. Look, so you can take a plain sheet of lined paper and make a daily duo out of it. What do you think about that? That's pretty cool because if you, I don't know, run out of a page or if you uh, want to just buy a notebook because that's way cheaper than buying a planner and then you print your own stickers, there you go, huh? I like it. I think it looks really cute just like this. Well, this gives me uh, encouragement because I don't have enough papers to finish out the month. So... So those were the Daily Duo kits for February. Uh, if you go, I think a week back on Wednesday, I showed the February Compact Vertical kits. And the month of February was right here. So we're all set. So now I'm working on March, which will be coming up in future videos. So until next time, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to be notified every single time that we upload. Bye. We'll see you in the next one.